This week's morality with Motomity. Last week, the question was, would you sell your house for twice its market value if you knew that it was going to be that a animal testing facility, a company that was going to do animal testing would be put in place there? Lewis said he would for twice the, the market value. Lewis getting killed in the email. I mean, people very, very angry. What do you respond with, Lewis? Uh, I just have this sneaking suspicion that uh, it's easy for people to say they wouldn't do it uh, until they were put in that situation. Oh, so you think people are just BSing and if it was them, they would do it? Most people, yeah. Wow. A big indictment of uh, people actually caring for animals from producer Lewis Motomedy. Well, this week it's the overcrowded lifeboat scenario. You know this one, Lewis. More people caring more about themselves than animals. You're stranded with 30 people on a lifeboat. It's intended to hold only seven people. Nobody can paddle the boat because it's way too heavy. It will definitely sink with the 30 people. Everyone inside will drown, okay? It occurs to you, you could save some of the people if you threw out all but the strongest rowers, okay? You throw them overboard. Would it be morally permissible to save some people by throwing others overboard, especially since if you don't throw anyone overboard, everyone dies? And, and again, you have you can't say something like I would call someone with my cell phone and have them rescue us. Let's just analyze it the way that I'm presenting it. Mm -hmm. Everyone dies or you throw some people overboard. If you keep the strongest rowers, people can survive. Is it morally permissible? And by the way. Who decides who to throw overboard? Do you decide? I maybe, decide. Maybe you would be thrown overboard. But seriously, what do you think of this one? Well, I mean, you're asking me what I would do if I were the decider. If I were George Bush, I were the decider, right? Right. Yep, exactly. Okay. To be honest. But I'm the decider. And I yeah, so go on. <laughs> I, I think I would have to, uh, I think I would have to toss some people over. You th and it would be morally permissible. In other words, later, if you if you were asked about it, you would be able to say, listen, we were all going to die. I made the decision. Some people have to go, and some of us survived. Right. I think it would also be pretty likely that someone would go berserk and uh, start pushing people overboard anyway. So I would have to, uh, I would have to decide who is going over. And what, what rationale would you use? Well, I'm sure some of our listeners are not going to like this, but uh, <laughs> I think uh, the younger you are, the better chance you'd have of not getting thrown over. What about kids, though? Because kids will not be able to row very well, but presumably they have the most years left to live. And they also don't weigh as much. So I think kids would probably be pretty safe. So it seems really like overweight, weak people that are older are going to be the first to be pushed off by Lewis. Yeah. What do you think, Natan? Morally permissible? I mean, how do you navigate a situation like this? Well, first of all, I'll say in this context... Are we are we saying that this is these people are the only people left on Earth? Because no. if, that's not the case. Because if, the case. if that were the case, then it certainly wouldn't be sufficient to throw away all of the women and children. As no, 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 no. We're not saying that. I'm saying this is just it, it, Earth exists. People exist. There's just the only chance for these people is is to, to lighten the load of the boat okay. and roll well, back. My question to you is: How is it morally permissible not to do anything? In other words, by doing nothing, you are basically allowing 30 Everyone people to die, to die. Including yourself. Whereas by doing something, you could be saving potentially, I don't know, 20 people if you, if you throw off the right people. The mm -hmm. other thing is, would people have to be thrown off? Would anybody volunteer and just say, you know what? I'm a completely rational person. I'm overweight. Of course. I'm weighing the boat down. I'm offing myself. I'm jumping off the boat. That's highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. But that's the first thing I would say. I would say, are there any volunteers? <laughs> 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 and then I would have to make some speech about uh, morals and duty and life, and then I'd start giving people the boot. Yeah, now, ladies and gentlemen, we're on this boat today for circumstances that unfortunately are not of our choosing. But let me be the first to say that if we are to survive as a people, if we are to survive as a nation, some of us will have to go. And I ask you today. Will anyone volunteer for this great cause? Will anyone stand up today and say, I, I, who have not taken care of myself, who have overindulged in the Big Macs, Big, Big Macs and Walkers, Whoppers and Fries, and who have had some of producer Lewis's incredibly horrible cooking, I will volunteer to jump off, and I will not need you to push me, because I will push myself for the greater good. I mean, is that the type of thing you, you would hope happens? Yes. 
<laughs> That's exactly how I envisioned it. I think it's unlikely. With the music and everything. Now wait, if if you're thrown overboard... <laughs> because there's also a full orchestra on this boat somehow. <laughs> if you're thrown overboard in this scenario, yeah. is it a certain death or is it just very unlikely? It's certain death. It's certain, certain death. death. Yeah. So There's it's like the water and freezing is pure water. Hold on, hold on. We got to talk. People, you guys get so wound up one at a time. It's certain death. Okay. Okay, well, definitely kids and fat people go first. Kids, too. <laughs> well, when you think about it, the kids are going to contribute very little to rowing the boat. But they don't weigh much. I wouldn't toss kids. I think kids aren't first a first choice. First choice are weak people. Elderly and fat people. So basically, this is incredibly politically incorrect. Yeah, it's politically incorrect, but it's rational, right? <laughs> and the best part is, no one can see Natan's face, so he's in virtual anonymity here. All right. Well, uh, you know, I don't know. I think I think the, the argument, the best argument I've heard so far for pushing people overboard is by doing nothing, you were basically complicit in just allowing all thirty people to die. Uh, on today's bonus show, we'll be talking about Chicago's expanded Big Brother camera network. Physicians are leaving private practices. A uh, controversial ruling about suicide kits in Oregon. If you sign up to become a David Pakman Show member and get that bonus show, you get 10 entries in this iPad giveaway that I'm holding here in front of me. We'll be doing that on the last day of June. Let's take a break. We'll come back. A lot more to talk about. And uh, davidpackman.com slash membership is the website. Hope to see a lot of you tonight at the Progressive Talk Radio meetup in Minneapolis. The David Pakman Show at davidpackman.com. <laughs> 